me share with you the three best projects for your front-end web developer's portfolio on Upwork. Number one, you want to build a beautiful dynamic landing page. You want to build a sales page for a product, a service, whatever you want, something that looks good. Try to find some company that has good pictures or you feel that if you hired a photographer uh, for the project, it would yield a really good looking landing page. And the reason for that, you really want all your things on your portfolio to look good because it's the easiest way to stand out as a front end developer. The thing is, when people skim through your portfolio, and I said skim because clients don't tend to look at your portfolios long, the fact is that if they just skim and look at it for just a couple of moments, uh, what they're gonna notice is pretty much only the design. And so that's where you wanna stand out. You're not a web designer, but even as a front end developer, oftentimes a lot of clients don't know the difference between a web developer and a web designer, and they expect the developer to be good at design as well, which you should definitely be if you wanna have as much success as possible on Upwork and as freelancing in general, even if you're freelancing outside of Upwork, design is really key for uh, making high hourly rates as a developer. The reason you want this page also to be dynamic, have animations, is because that's the type of thing that impresses clients. The thing is, they also notice the fact that you have more animations on your sites than other freelancers. And often in their mind, something happens when, when they look at many static web pages and once in a while they see these pages that have these animations on them. It's like, wow, like it's something different. Number two, you want a good looking website for a trustworthy company that has like beautiful pictures on it. You want to build a website that looks as good as possible for a company that looks as trustworthy as possible because a website made for, let's say, a dentist, uh, a CrossFit gym, those types of websites for companies that look either big or look like they're the type of people who are professionals in their field, uh, the fact that they chose you to make their website shows that other people who are trustworthy, who are intelligent business owners, who are wise business owners, have decided to choose you. It shows a certain indicator that you must be trustworthy. It's, it's, a, it's a sign of social proof. And the reason you wanna have professional photos on it is because it's so much easier to make websites that look amazing with, with photos. Like most of the websites that I used to do uh, when I was working at a web agency, my boss was paying hundreds of dollars often for photographers because he knew the difference it made. And every time we, we made a design and uh, we made uh, the preliminary um, design sketches uh, or, or built the website before we had uh, the photos from the photo shoot, there was always a huge difference between how good the website looked before the photo shoot and after the photo shoot. It's crazy. And one of the easiest way to just work with these sorts of clients is just like try to look at the potential clients you could work with uh, and look at their Facebook profiles. If they had great photos on their Facebook, but their website looked like shit, like you can just contact these people and offer them your services. And oftentimes they're going to be interested if you go on a call with them like you know, you don't have to go through Upwork to get freelance jobs. In fact, most of my freelance jobs uh, don't come through Upwork. Like, we get a lot of jobs from mechanical outreach and just uh, cold call and these other methods. And, you know, even companies in your area, like for building your portfolio, you don't have to build it on Upwork. You can build it with companies around you. Maybe your friend's dad has some sort of construction company. Maybe you could... Uh, give him a call or just messaging him, him on Facebook or there's probably a lot of other companies that you know in your area or websites that you've seen from companies in your area that could see a lot of improvement but they're maybe they, they have great photos on, on their Facebook otherwise you can always like pay for the photo shoot maybe it's gonna cost you around three four hundred dollars and this is gonna have a huge impact on your portfolio and help you make something that really stands out and you can ask a photographer at the same time to just take pictures of you for your Upwork profile, a professional picture of you so that you look good uh, for your profile picture, which is also really valuable, um, a really valuable idea to hire a photographer for having a good profile picture. And if you can do both at the same time, like that's amazing. Number three, you wanna build some sort of clone of maybe a Google, Facebook, uh, 
commonly known website. And the reason you want to do that is oftentimes the people who are hiring Upwork developers, they already have a very clear idea of what they want and they want to see if whether or not you are able to do exactly what they ask you, if you're able to copy a website or, or copy a design that they do. If you're able to copy a site like Google or Facebook and make it almost pixel perfect in a way that when they navigate through your clone, they almost don't feel the difference between your clone and the real website. What happens is that it shows to them that you are able to translate something that you can see into an exact replica when you code, which means that if they build a design, they'll know they can trust you to make it pixel perfect or almost pixel perfect so that uh, your design is not going to be very different from uh, what they have designed initially, which is often a problem. I mean, a lot of uh, developers on Upwork are not the best developers and they, uh, when even when they're asked not to, they end up using weird technologies. Maybe they use WordPress Elementor when they're not supposed to. It happened to us a lot when we hired developers on Upwork. And what happens is that because they use these different technologies, they can't make the website look exactly like uh, the website that uh, we wanted or that the, the client wants in, in that situation. There's always some small differences. It's, sometimes it's, it's minor, but it, it's really good uh, as a client, when I hire people, I really like to see when um, they can do exactly what I asked, not something slightly different that looks a bit worse. And one of the reasons why it's hard oftentimes to get started in Upwork, get your first few jobs, is that when you're starting out, your profile oftentimes does not get any views. And if you want to know why your Upwork profile is not getting any views, why uh, you have to work so hard to go into these bidding wars and go send all of these proposals, you should probably check my video on why your Upwork profile is not getting views. There's going to be a link right here you can click or in the description. Uh, it's probably going to be very interesting. And uh, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next ones. Take care.